up, Cameron Blagan with USA Toys here, coming to you with a little tutorial, uh, and we're going to be using the Blue J today, uh, and this video is all about batteries, so this is all about how you uh, can get the most out of your batteries and how you can uh, make them last longer, uh, fly longer, um, and be safer about it, because uh, especially with all the things such as the, uh, you know, Samsung battery fiasco going on, uh, there is some dangerous uh, things that can happen with batteries, and uh, people tend to uh, get a little bit alarmed at that, but it is nothing uh, to worry about because most of the time it is uh, user error, uh, not in the case of the Samsung phones, but with uh, things like this, it's mostly just user error that causes uh, any battery problems, and the good part of that is it is easily fixable. So we're going to go ahead and um, I'm just unboxing this here for you. Uh, if you want to buy a drone like this or anything uh, similar to this, we have a lot of other products on our line, go ahead and check out uh, the links in the description. So I'm going to go ahead and just take the battery out of here in the back. And another thing uh, that often to start out here our tutorial, some people leave their batteries um, in the drone plugged up and then they just rely on the off switches. Um, and you'll notice this was shipped with the switch off and the battery unplugged, uh, not just the battery unplugged. Uh, and it's really important to not leave the battery plugged in to the drone, even if the off switch um, is off, because uh, there is a chance that there can be um, a trickle charge coming out of it. You do run the risk of the battery shorting out while it's in storage. Uh, if something weird were to happen, um, and that's where you hear about those kind of weird accidents. Uh, and again, our products are tested and very safe, so that should never happen. Um, but to be on the safe side, as you always should be, especially with batteries, uh, leave this battery unplugged from your drone while you're storing it. Now, uh, charging is another spot where people uh, tend to goof up, um, and that is um, another, another thing I'll talk about. So when you're charging your drone, um, again, you don't want to leave it plugged up, just like you don't want to leave it plugged up to the drone for the same reasons. There could be a trickle charge or some sort of short. Another thing is you want to use um, a high quality uh, USB, so this just happens to be um, obviously a, a nice USB adapter. You want to use one like this. Uh, there are definitely cheaper ones out there, maybe like a $4 one you bought from the gas station or something. These can have um, the wrong adapter or they can just simply short out um, with any sort of charge, but they can have the wrong uh, amount of uh, current and amperage going through here, which can cause the battery uh, to heat up or the charger to heat up and it just causes problems. So make sure you're using a high quality charger. Uh, is that That's the third tip. So, so far we have don't store on your drone, don't store plugged up to a charger, and use a high quality USB plug. So now another thing is you're going to want to plug, doesn't matter what if you plug this up before you plug it into the wall, that's fine, but when you do plug this up, and obviously I don't have a power cord here, um, this light will be red. So when this light is red, that obviously means it's charging, and when it turns green, it is charged. Now, a lot of people, you know, might just say, okay, it's green, and they leave their batteries there uh, for weeks until it's time to fly the drone, and they just unplug it, and they go uh, charge, or they go fly the drone, and they just plug it back up and leave it there till the next time. That is not what you should do. You should definitely, uh, you know, definitely okay to leave it. You should never, uh, like, leave your house while you're charging, just in case, uh, you know, check, it should, shouldn't be getting hot. Never leave it plugged up after it's been charged. You're going to want to unplug that. As far as getting the most bang out of your battery, uh, you're going to want to follow these steps. When you're flying your drone, you're going to want to use your battery until the low battery beeps come on. Now you have a little bit of time after those start coming on and the lights start flashing, but you don't want to wait until the drone physically cannot fly. That means you've discharged the battery too much. Um, now if you do that a couple times, not a big deal, but you don't want that to be a normal thing you do. And you definitely don't want to uh, try to use it after it's landed once and did not continue flying. So uh, what you're going to want to do is use it till it starts beeping and then stop. And you're not going to want to charge it unless you're going to fly within the next couple days. So if you're not planning on flying your drone for another week, I would wait to use your to charge your battery until like two days before max, maybe three days before max, and then you can charge your battery and store it for a couple days. Now if you're storing your batteries long term and you still want them to be good when you come back, you're going to want to store your batteries at about half voltage. So if you have a, a battery plug, you're going to want it to be about 
3.5 volts um, between right around there. Uh, you know, this says 3.7, they can go up to 4.2. Um, or all the way down to three, which is really low in the middle. If you don't have a checker, which most people don't, um, what you're going to want to do is use it in your drone, not until your battery comes on, but about half the normal time that would be, so about three, four minutes. Now, if you want to, if it's completely dead, but you want to uh, leave it half charged, and that's usually the situation, you're going to want to just plug this up for about half the time it takes to charge, and you can calculate that um, by how many milliamps there are. So this will take, it's 500 milliamp hours, so this will take about half an hour to charge at 1C, uh, which these chargers do, or a little bit less. So you're going to want to plug this baby up if you've completely used it for like 10-15 minutes and then just unplug it and leave it. That will leave you with the uh, perfect medium voltage for long-term storage of your battery and you'll get a ton of more use out of your batteries and a lot more cycles, uh, which means charge and discharges. Uh, out of your batteries. So that is all I have for this quick little battery tutorial tips um, and tricks on how to get the most out of your battery and stay safe while doing it. So if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments below or check out our uh, customer service they'd be happy to help you there also. Uh, email is also in the description. Again check out our page for some awesome drones uh, like the Blue Jay here which this is a Blue Jay battery um, and it is a great option uh, for a great beginner drone or if you've flown lots of drones before um, got the full FPV adjustable camera uh, and a really cool design uh, through UDIRC and again through USA Toys um, check out our websites link in the description below for more of our products thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again in another video